Good evening. This is Brother Herman with MakeUpSeeTheTruth.org. We are a nonprofit organization who has been anointed and appointed to be used inside of Jesus' ministry of reconciliation to bring back God's truths into our societies less fortunate that are those of our brothers and sisters who are still roaming around this earth, lost, looking in search of their true identities. If you'd like to assist us in this ministry, you may do so one of three ways. You may hit the subscribe button at the bottom of this channel. It's going to help raise our numbers and God can use these numbers to build us a bigger platform. Two, you can hit the thumbs up button. And if you hit the thumbs up button, it's going to allow you to save these episodes so you can share these episodes and this knowledge with a friend, family member, a neighbor, co-worker, or even a stranger in the streets. Three, you can assist us by donations. By going to our cash app at dollar sign capital M A I K U M capital C D E capital T R U T H, and we appreciate whatever the Holy Trinity moves you to donate. We'll appreciate all of your assistance no matter what. But in the meantime, in between time, we're going to upload series 17, which we have entitled God Knocks, We Open Our Doors. We're going to be doing episode number eight tonight, which we have entitled Have You Ever Met One? We're going to begin it like this. If any of you lack wisdom, let them let them ask of God, not mankind, who gives to all liberally and without reproach, and it will be given to them. But let them ask in faith, not doubting. For them who doubts is like a wave of the sea driven and tossed by the wind. For let not those persons suppose they will receive anything from the Lord, because they are double-minded individuals, unstable in all their ways. This is out of our basic instructions before leaving earth, the book of James, chapter 1, verses 5 through 8. And now we begin. Not too long ago, I knew of someone described above, taught worldly, the worldly ways, thought and behaved likewise. All because I was led by an un unworthy fallen spirit while trying to navigate inside his fallen world. Amen. Praise God head most high. Because that was going on some 16 years ago. But on December 7, 2008, Brother Herman said to Satan and his fallen spirits, no more. Have you ever met someone whom you just couldn't get a straight answer with? Rather than, rather than them taking a stance on, their, on the question being asked, being honest with themselves and provide you their answer, all they seemed to do instead was just dance and kept dodging with hesitation. You were clearly asking the question over and rephrasing it again, but no matter how you rephrased it nor restated it, you began to realize it would only lead you to a pointless end because somehow you just knew if they were to answer the question you were clearly asking it would only come from a deceptive heart their coping mechanism for masking a man praise holy trinity once again because since becoming sick and tired with an issue such as this i quickly become became tired of people i quickly become tired of people suffering from this also because since deciding on December 7, 2008 to turn away from the worldliness, repent to God, and ask him to send his son Jesus, I now can see and dislike my old unstable ways which kept me in a mess and fallen to pieces. I've come to learn and today discern that there are only three types of individuals, three types of people that come they come or, or get sent to assist, take away, or worse, to hinder our progress. And that's those who know, those that are unsure, and simply put, those who refuse to believe. Know that God is our most high creator, that he sent his only begotten son, Jesus, to, our, to be our Lord, teacher, and savior. And if we come to look for forgiveness, our sins can only be wiped clean by Jesus because there is no greater no one higher. Amen. Praise God again for sending and equipping him. 
So no matter the signs, no matter the designs, these who are unsure or refuse God's knowledge will still choose to decline. Amen. Praise Holy Trinity again because they have opened mine eyes to see these types of people who come around me. And I can see clearly that they come with fallen spirits dwelling within their hearts. They are quick to become envious, jealous, complaining right from the start. From the start of you meeting them to the appointed time you depart. Have you met someone like this? So busy focusing on you and everyone else, they overlook their own mess. After conversing with these types for just a little while, their hate and grumblings continuously keep flowing from their hearts and out of their mouths. So my question for you again is, have you ever met somebody like this? That only come around to argue, complain, and never to give? They whine and cry about everything, so much so that their middle name should very well be Jude 16. That's the book of Jude in the Holy Bible. And when you refuse to co-sign their whine, because we've been through the better training of our Savior Jesus, to be able to see the goodness of God's awesome designs, they become even madder and you begin to think to yourself, there's absolutely nothing sadder. Sadder than to see what we used to be. Grown folks speaking in death over our lives and their lives and the lives of others. Our friends, our families, and our neighbors, and even our lost sisters and brothers. Not being able to see God's divine design for all life's challenges, hurdles, and obstacles. All because we refuse to believe the good news of Jesus which saves our souls is possible. You ever met someone quite like this? Because in our basic instructions before leaving earth, Holy Spirit describes them to a T. And this is a list out of Proverbs 4, 16. For they do not sleep unless they have done evil. And their sleep is taken away unless they make someone fall. So again, my friend, I ask you, have you ever met a lost brother or sister like this? Remember to pray for them that they are the weaker vessel like we too once were. The weaker vessel that our enemy Satan uses to frustrate, irritate, and annoy us. To also come against our choice, our decision to leave his regime and get on our filthy hearts contrite and clean. Clean by our decision to follow our Lord and Savior Jesus. So we are to pray for our lost brothers and sisters that perhaps maybe one day they too can have another chance to say, I'll stop myself from following and being used by old Satan. Because just as we did our lost brothers and sisters that are confused to God's truths, Refuse to believe and thus concede, or worse, are sold out to Satan when they come or are sent around us with Satan's foolishness, you agree? They too must become sick and tired of the consequences that must also come by their decisions and opposing actions. Amen. Praise Holy Spirit once again for yet another teaching tool which is flowing through Brother Herman's pen. Wherefore, our Holy Godhead Most High created us all, including our lost brothers and sisters, in their holy image. And it's still our choice whether or not we will continue to blemish their image. We have simply chosen a better way than the way we too were once stuck in. And this is why we are called to pray for our enemies. We pray for those Satan uses to persecute, irritate, frustrate, discombobulate and even hate on our new image. Those whom Satan sends to hinder our purpose for being sent and sanctified by our most high. Praise Holy Trinity once again because they too have been given a special purpose and plan by our Father God's right hand. That be our Lord Savior Jesus. And Jesus has designed even these for us to choose. By submitting on our knees and God's plans for us was not to 
create a creation from failure? After all, he knows everything, including that by giving us a free will, we would choose to become lost in our own pleasures. God doesn't even wish for us to become condemned. And it was his own be only begotten son, Jesus, whom showed us by choosing not to believe we condemn ourselves, not God, not Satan, not even man. Amen. Praise holy God had most high once again. Because God created us all to be fruitful and multiply, not to choose to follow Satan, nor the world's ways, because the results means we too must die. Die to the relation with God head most high, because following anything other than Jesus is synonymous with choosing to follow the lie. So now we know the real why, the why some choose to reject God's truths. Because when all you're, you've been following are the lies of Satan, his ray removes Jesus' which are filled with mysteries and clues. Hence, it will be these mysteries and clues Jesus will use that will help you choose Jesus' way over the way of the fools. And that be Satan's. Thank you. This has been another one of Brother Herman's sermons, a teaching tool. Inside of series 17 God knocks we open the door or not inside of episode 8 have you ever met one I pray that each one receives some some of the golden nuggets that flow down through the pen by empowerment of our Holy Spirit each day he gives me something to ponder on and I just put it to the paper when I put it to the paper, he helps me do just that. And then I bring it up and let my brothers and sisters who needs to hear it, hear it. And for those brothers and sisters out there that know someone that is like this, that I've just described above, then I pray for you to pray for them because we all needed prayer at one point in time. We all strayed off the path that we were placed on by our loved ones. But the, when you train a child up in the way they should go, they have a path to come back to. What happens to our brothers and sisters who's never received their birthright in the way that they should go? We become stuck out there with nothing to come back to. So it's up to us, those who have received God's truths, to be used to help our lost brothers come back into the fold, to come back into God's presence, his holy presence, like you and I had a chance to. So until we upload episode number nine, no entitled yet, inside of series 17, take care of yourself. May God continue to bless and you have yourself a great rest of your day, afternoon, and evening. Thank you.